everyone, so this video is going to be my end of November updates and I'm going to start with my Van de Luc Stelle seedlings. I was just about to say that they were doing well, and they are, but these thrips keep coming back so I need to take care of uh, this right now. I think only three seedlings in this box are affected, but I might have to take everything out. I really don't want to do that. Alrighty, so I just isolated the affected plants. The seedlings I've washed and I've put the old moss in the microwave, so I'm waiting for that to cool down before I put them back. And this one is the previous um, seedling that had thrips. Just as an experiment, I'm trying to grow up bare root in a clay pot. I did lose the leaf coming out of the crown, so I don't know if it's going to survive, but uh, we'll see. Alrighty, so back to the other plants. Uh, this one is Aridis Queen Q Vulnera, and it has two very healthy spikes. These should bloom every day. I missed the grow area, um, just to make sure there's enough humidity so that the buds form properly. So fingers crossed. And this is Brassavola cuculata red form. And I've taken the plant out of the pot and I'm using the pot now as a mount. And so far it's pushing out new roots, which is good, but it hasn't really adhered to the mount yet. And this is my Stanhopia. Uh, its leaf seems to be fully formed, but the pseudobulb hasn't formed fully yet. And no signs of buds yet. And this one is RLC Durgan. I don't really like the way it's growing. The reason why it's kind of growing this way is because I had it originally turned the other way because it's quite gloomy this time of year. It's been growing towards the artificial light, so that's why it's kind of sideways. I was hoping it would kind of turn itself up, but that hasn't happened. And this is my Dendrobium shiriabe, and it's pushing out a spike. This one is my Epidendrum ciliari, and I think it's given up on pushing out its flower spike. The good news, though, is that it's pushing out a new growth, and the growth looks quite thick, so that's good. And this is Phalaenopsis subparishii, and the flower spikes look healthy still. So I think we're on our way to getting full-blown spikes out of this, so that's good. And this is Mazdavalia amplexa, and it's pushed out, I think, three, so far three flower spikes, so that's good. Seems to be happy in its new home. And this is Catacetum gladiatorium crossed with barbatum, and it's in bud. And this one is Galeandra barii, and uh, that pseudobulb in the back doesn't look too happy, um, but the one growing out the side seems fine, so I think that's okay. Also this one as well is starting to turn yellow. And Ascocentrum miniatum decided to bloom for me, so and that was very surprising. And that's my Trichoglottis bacilla, and it's pushing out a flower spike, so that's good. And these are my Paraphalaenopsis lay cockii seedlings. I gave one away to a member of our society because he was looking for one. Uh, this guy is pretty big. That's good. And the one on the Kulog is doing pretty okay as well. And this is my Pedangus dactylocerus and it's pushing out this new fan, which is good. And these are my Dendrobium tobansii seedlings. They're, well, this this group isn't doing super well. This one's doing okay. These two, these two are also just doing okay. My bets are on this one so far. I think the most exciting thing is my Bulbophyllum princess vajaratana. So it started pushing out a flower spike here. And I knew for sure it was a flower spike because the shape of the growth was much different from how these grow. But unfortunately, it kind of rotted. But the good news is there's another one growing here. So fingers crossed that that does well for me. This is Dendrobium carnaferum, And the new growths are doing well. And just recently, it started pushing out this cakey here. 
this is my Dinger Bean Skip Relink You, and it's been kind of declining. I did have a thrips issue, which is resolved now, but you can see for each new growth, the growth has been a lot smaller. I'm trying to rest it this year, uh, as with my other dendrobiums around here, so I'm hoping that will help. And that one in the back there is Dendrobium igneovium, and I don't think it's established itself yet. Uh, this is Gongora portentosa, and this growth from underneath is leafing out. It doesn't look super great. I'm hoping this leaf will be okay, but the good news is there's actually a new growth here as well, so I'm hoping that one will do well. And this one is Bobophyllum sanguineo punctatum. Uh, so I had believed that it didn't really push out any roots, so earlier this month I think I just pulled it out and it actually did push out some roots, but not very many. So I've put it back and I'm hoping that it can do better. It's still very wobbly, even with the roots that it did push out, so I'm not sure what to think about this plant. And last but not least, this is my Thicastelae alata. I decided to put it on a heat mat and just keep it moist. And so far it's helping um, grow that growth. I think last time I showed it actually had two growths, but the one on the other side hasn't done anything yet, so I'm hoping this one will do well. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!